everybody, this is Ryan. Welcome back. Welcome to the investing channel. Uh, I'm going to do another update on SLP coin. Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at the charts. I'm going to share with you guys some potential entries that I can do, some potential exits, and we'll calculate out what the profit is. Uh, but for those of you guys that are new, that's what I do. I jump into trades. I do videos for people too, so that they can kind of see where things are at when looking at the charts. So I let you guys know when I jump into a trade, uh, what that price is going to be at, and also where the take profit is going to be. And I show you that the, more often than not, they end up swinging back up. Okay. So you're going to definitely want to make sure that you watch this video all the way through. Okay. I'm going to share with you guys some stuff you haven't seen before and trust me you're going to enjoy it okay uh, all right for those of you guys that have uh, come over from referrals from other people uh, you can please subscribe over here uh, that little icon there in the corner of the screen and then smack that bell when it pops up so that you're notified when i come up with the next video so let's go ahead and we'll get going okay all right let me share my screen with you guys uh, here's my Instagram account real quick. Uh, I do a lot of videos for other people too. I can't always do a big long one. So I do short little ones so that you guys can keep trading, right? So you guys get a, a feel for where things are at on the charts. So I do a quick little one minute one. Um, you guys can follow me over at Investing Points with an S. Just click follow and you guys can go in here and watch any of these other videos that I've done for other viewers, okay? Okay, let me go ahead and get going. Here is the chart for SLP. I'm in the TradingView platform. If you want a 30-day free trial of TradingView, uh, there's a link down below in my description. Just click the See More uh, little text link below it, and it'll take you to that. Um, for those of you guys that are new, uh, let me explain something, what you're looking at here. You're looking at all these little bases that I've drawn. And what happens is more often than not, when price action drops below those bases, it'll end up swinging back up. And what does that mean to you? It means that you guys get to buy the dip at the right time, okay? Everyone's like, I need to buy the dip, but then I don't know if the dip's the dip. It could be just dip and then keep dipping, right? Um, so let me sh show you guys what I mean. So right here, there's a base, it broke it, and then it swung back up. So if I was, if that was today, I could have bought somewhere in here and then wrote it back up and took profit right there at that line when it came back. Here's another one. It broke, it took, it came back up over here, a little ways away. Uh, here it broke right there, it swung back up there, it broke there, it swung back up, it broke there, it swung back up, it broke there and swung back up, it broke there and swung back up. Uh, it broke there and swung back up. Uh, it broke that base and swung back up. It broke all these bases right there, almost came right back up over there uh, on this little, let me spread this out here so you guys can keep seeing. All right, see, it broke that base, almost came back up. Um, it broke that base and came back up. It broke that base and came up right there. Um, so um, I'm gonna share some more with you just a second. So uh, it broke this base and came back up. It broke there, it came back up over here. Uh, it broke there, it came back up over here, it broke there, it came back up over here, it broke this one, it came back up over here, it broke there, it came back over here, broke there and came back up over here, it broke that little one, it came back up, I broke that one and came back up, so you guys get the gist, right? Ugh, need some water here. Okay, so if this is something new to you guys, please look below the video, so, uh, hit the thumbs up. Well, let, hit the thumbs up, by the way. That helps me out. Uh, there's a there's a little thumbs up icon just below the video. If you could hit that, uh, that helps me out tremendously. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And it lets me know that you guys are, are finding this stuff interesting, okay? So let's let's take a look here. Uh, let's let's see what we can do. We can basically, in this, in this area right here, we can assume that based upon the history of what we just talked about, of it going down and coming back up, that more often than not, it's good. Hey, more often than not, it's going to come back up. Hold on, let me get these guys out. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. Hey, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 let us go uh, but we can safely assume that it's going to come back up through these bases, right? It's got to, it cracked these bases over here, but it has not come back up. So that leaves me to believe that uh, there's opportunity here to take profit. And it broke this base over here and it has not come back up. But more importantly for you guys over here, here's kind of where things are at. Let's see. You can see that it has broke some other bases that it has not come back up. The highest one the highest one is at 20, roughly 25 cents, okay? Let me spread that over so you guys can see. This is the highest one right here, 25 cents. It should come back to that point. It's just a matter of time. I know it's been a long time. It broke over here in July, but ultimately it should get back there. But it doesn't mean you have to set your take profit for there because it could be a long, long, long wait, right? So you want to work these smaller bases down here because there's plenty of profit that can be made all throughout this little section here. So that's what I'm going to focus on for now. If anyone wants a long, long-term hold, or if I want to, I could, I could hold it for there for half a year or a year, and I'll probably take pretty good profit. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's calculate out some stuff here. Okay. So we're right here. We're at 0 0.019. So I'm going to go over to my chart and I'm going to put 0 0.0193. And then 
the first take profit I see is right there at that line, 0 0.0. 0 0.020, 0 0.020, let me point that, 0 0.020. And you can see here, I'll make 4% of my money. Okay, that's not that much, but out of a $250 investment, I make $9, it's not that much. So let's go up to the next one and calculate out what I can do. Um, I could go up to this next line, which is 0 0.022, 0 0.022, and it brings it up. On a $1,000 investment, I can make $139. I can make 14% of my money. All right, let's go up a little bit higher. 0 0.024, all right, 0 0.024. All right, now I'm making $243 out of a $1,000 investment, I'm making 24%. And let's go one more and let's just have some fun with this. 0 0.027, 0 0.02, my wife is fighting with the dogs, they're going nuts. Uh, okay, I can make 40% of my money here at 0 0.027 on $1,000 if I want to invest uh, for myself. This is for myself, guys. Um, I don't have any uh, affiliation with SLP or any coin or any stock. I'm just a person like you guys looking at charts and making decisions and jumping into trades. So on this one, I can make almost $400 off a thousand dollar investment. I make 40%. If I do 500, I'm making 199 and 250, I'm making 99.74. So I'm going to kind of go through these. So my options for me are 0 0.020, uh, 0 0.022, 0 0.024, Point zero two seven, and here's another one right here. Point zero three seven. Let's go look at that one. Point zero three seven. Oof, this one's gonna be good. Hold on. Oh, hold on a second. Point zero three seven. Boom. Ninety two percent on my money. Look at that. I can make ninety two percent of my money. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So let me uh, share with you guys that are new. Uh, oh, if you have friends that are in SLP or they're in any other coin, please let them know. Send them a link to this video so they can take a look at it. Here's my uh, here's my channel. If you click on the uh, videos tab here, you'll see my whole library. I do the same thing on all these coins. Okay, doesn't mean you can come you know into a coin six months later and go, oh, that's a good entry. I'm going to jump in. I, I I always all these are you know there for the next week, two weeks, whatever they are. Um, but once they start taking profit, I'll do videos. Took profit, took profit, took profit, took profit, took profit. I know you guys know took profit, took profit, took profit, took profit, took profit. And then I also over here, I have my chart. Here's all the ones that I'm in. Um, you can see here, here's a whole bunch that have cleared lately over here. I've got two more over here. It's just patience, guys. When you pick the right entry and the right exit, you can have patience because you know, based upon history, more often than not, it comes back up. When they drop, that's when everyone freaks out and they jump out because they get nervous. They see their money ticking away. I don't, I'm not emotional about the money that I have invested. You, you got to get like that. I know it's hard to do. It was hard for me in the, in the beginning. And I did sell a couple of times because I got nervous. Let me show you. So here's, here's my other trades. You can see I'm holding on some here. And then here, look at all these that have cleared on the, all those, all that in green is cleared. The little red ones that you see periodically are of me jumping out of trades or losing stop losses, but I don't jump out of trades anymore because I was losing money. I was going back and checking them and I saw that they were all swinging. I used to, when I first got started, I only started off with like 300 bucks. I got started uh, at the beginning of the pandemic and uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got started at the beginning of the pandemic and uh, then I started teaching myself about uh, day trading. I started doing that for a while. And then I ultimately got back into crypto. A friend of mine told me to, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do crypto. I jumped into it and I liked it because things moved a little bit slower. Um, I, didn't, I didn't have to do a day trade. I could do swing trades and I saw my money come back better. And uh, I could build my account a lot faster, okay? So I hope that has helped you guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel over here, bottom right-hand corner, the little red icon, and then smack that bell. And please, if you could do one of these before you leave, one of the thumbs up down below, right below the video, that helps me out a lot. And send this video to friends so that they can learn and see too, okay? Thanks guys for watching. Add comments down below. If you want me to do videos, uh, kind of like what I'm doing here for other people, feel free. Um, let me know and I'll put, post them over here on my investing points, but you can just add it down below here in the video that you're looking at right now, uh, what coin you're in at, uh, in on and what price you paid. Okay. And, or if you're in on a stock and you want me to do a stock, I'll do that too. Okay. I'm going to start doing more stocks and I'm going to start doing more tut tutorials on trading view and showing you guys indicators and stuff that you guys can use to your advantage. Thanks guys for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.